Let's few more people join, then I'll start. Okay, it's now it's one more minute, then I'll start with cooking. Namaskar, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Amul Life from Eros Hotel. Uh, myself is Losel, I'm executive sous chef. So today, I'm here to show you a very simple recipe. So before I start further, I would like to say thank you so much for Amul for this great opportunity. And also, Amul has come up with a great concept and unique concept to bring all the professional chefs together in the same platform and you know i'm sure the people will got a lot of knowledge and you know connect the people so i would like to say thank you so much for joining with me so okay let's start so i'm making today it's very simple uh it's, which is created by myself it's a paneer cottage cheese which stuffed with the saute spinach and uh, uh coated with the bread uh, i'm not using a breadcrumb i'm using a corn flag okay and then and there's a, one more the healthy salad that I'll let you know later on, right? Okay, let's start with this. All right, let's go through the Misa. I have a Amul product. I have a Amul paneer, which I have already grated one. Okay, uh, and then the spinach, which I told you the spinach will blanch and I'll saute that I'll, I'll let you know with later on. I have a green chili, you know, we all love a little bit of spicy, so, so I have added a little bit of chili and garam masala, which is the favorite of every Indian, right? And very simple, salt and, and garlic paste, that's it, okay? This is the part for this amul, the uh, mixture part, the paneer mixture part. So, and I have, a, I have a created a little bit of, uh, I have done with a little bit of fusion one. So, it, it, uh, I try to make a fusion. So you can see here the tomato chop and coriander chop and onion and I'm using a tomato sauce a little bit and amul cream and the diced mango which I'm making a salsa. Alright, this is salsa. And here's another one when I uh, been a season availability, I thought of making a very healthy uh, mango, uh, raw mango salad which is very healthy. Okay, you can see later on that I'll do the later on. So first, I'll start with, I'm sure, am I audible to all? Can you please give a like if, am I audible, if my voice is clear? I hope everyone hear me, am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, okay, great. So let's start with this. So the batter also, I'm making a batter, which is the uh, refined flour and the cornstarch. There is simple refined flour, cornstarch and I'm adding a little bit of seasoning. So first I'll start with this cottage cheese. Okay. Here I have taken a grated cottage cheese. Right. This is so that I'm adding a salt seasoning. I'm adding a salt. Salt and a little bit of uh, garlic paste and garam masala. Okay. Garam masala and chopped green chili okay all right then i'm adding a little bit of uh, binding agent this uh, maida refined flour see 
let's mix you know i i have to tell you one thing you know whenever you make any uh the fried item of the paneer dishes make sure if you take a block of the paneer you have to microwave like paneer for a uh, for a, like 30 seconds right? so i took a, around the uh, 300 grams of paneer microwave for 30 seconds because then the paneer usually contain a lot of water in it so you have to uh, microwave for 30 seconds so that you will find it dry and you can see it now here all right this is the mixture it's ready right okay so this is ready now so now what i'll do we'll just prepare a visa for this one saute one paneer all right i'll boil the water i'll add a little bit of uh, salt in it I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you might be knowing that, you know, uh, whenever you go to the five-star hotel, you know, you, you might have observed that vegetable, you know, uh, especially the oriental, I mean, the kitchen, you know, whenever they serve the vegetable, you know, it feels very fresh and green. I'll tell you the reason why, you know, what we used to do, we add a salt and, and then as soon as the vegetables are boiled, then we strain it and put it in a cold ice water. That you know temperature comes down and that keeps her very fresh and and uh, and for a long time. So okay, what is going to go? Boil one. I'll add a spinach. Okay, I don't need a much for the stuffing, so this is it. Let it boil. Right? You can see it. Okay, this is done because we have to saute. I'll strain this finish. This is done now. Okay, now I'll just saute the spinach by adding a little bit of butter. All right. little bit of butter I'll just saute I'm using almond butter you can read if there is any question you can please read it out okay all right I got very less a little bit of garlic paste or garlic chop it's up to you okay Alright. Just salt it. And I'll add only a little bit of salt. I'm having a little bit of salt. Right. Okay. It's done now. To keep it for a while. Okay, now let it be cool down for a while. All right, let's keep it for a while. So now I have covered with a clean wrap, right? This is easy, you know. You can do it in your uh, the chopping board or on the uh, on the marble also. But I'm using uh, this uh, for the clean wrap. Just take a plate, clean wrap. And just uh, take a little bit of oil. Okay, is apply oil. Try this. Apply oil, and now you take the mash. Cottage cheese, you can see here. 
Okay, you can see here. Like this, I'll make a three to four. Three to make a portion size like this, then easy uh, for easy for you to, I mean, uh, fry also. It should not be a thick one, just flatten it. And okay, just flatten it. Now, I'll take a, the saute, saute spinach one. It's okay. You have to squeeze a little bit. Okay, you should squeeze a little bit. Squeeze a little bit. You don't have to chop it, right? I have just put a whole leaf, okay, just place in middle. Just place in the middle, all right? This is not the difficult one, but you have to try at your home. Okay, this is, but this is something which I created myself, which comes out very nice. So I'm here to share you the recipe, right? Okay. So now you can see, just fold it like this. You can see now. Just fold it like this, in the middle. All right, just fold it like this. And you have to close the edge, make a barrel shape. Okay, like this. You can apply some. Flour also. All right, this is the shape. Right, and same with this. Just roll it, and then close the both the edge. You don't have to worry if it comes out also, because near we are coating with uh, batter. So I'll add a little bit of flour. Okay, this is the last one. This is actually the other version of, uh, we have our Indian restaurant, the swing side, which is uh, signature snacks of our restaurant, uh, Daigi Kebab. So I'm not adding any of a uh, hanker in it. This is just the home mat and things are very uh, available at your home. So this is it. I'm uh, done with the three. So now I'll check. So now I'll let you know. See, I'm using a corn flag. I'm not using a, a bread crumb. You might be not available at the home, and I mean it's uh, uh, difficult for you. So I'm uh, using a corn flag because you know, a corn flag retain, uh, corn flag retain a crispiness for a long time, right? So uh, I'll just crush this. It's optional for you. I mean, you can use a vermicelli as well, which comes out very well, right? So I'm using a corn, corn flag. I'll crush the corn flag. First, I'll, okay, you have to crush it like this. Okay. Crush it like this is done now. So, now I'll just need to be, need to be more crushed, okay? Just take a flat plate or pan, whatever, all right? So, now we have to make a batter, right? I'll show you. So we have to make a very simple batter. I'm using a like you know 30 to 20 uh, uh, refined flour, and I'm using a cornstarch, right? Okay. You can see I'm using a four, three, like around a four, five of maida. I'll use the two and a half of cornstarch, right? And adding a little bit of salt. 
sort. And a little bit of again the garam masala. So I'm not adding a green chili because we have already added in this. So this is it. And you know what? You have to be uh, whilst you are making a batter, you make sure that you know you have to add a water. I mean, pour a water very slowly. So right. So I'll show you here. Okay. First, you're gonna mix it properly. Okay. Then, see. Make sure that the, the lumps should not come out, right? And that is some more, okay? Even if the lumps comes out also, you don't have to worry. You have to strain it, just take a sieve and just strain it, all right? See the better, okay? I think I have to add a little bit more water, all right? Add a little bit more. So the batter is done now. Okay. All right. Now I'll tell you that the reason behind it why I'm using a batter. You know we cannot uh, coat it the coated cheese. Uh, directly with the corn uh, corn flakes because you know it uh, when once you have fry you know all the oil will absorb so the once we coated the batter and just uh, put the corn flour co uh, corn flour coated then you know uh, the oil will not absorb much inside of the pot right okay this is it just take a dip the batter all right right. You have to coat it like this. See, this is. As I mentioned earlier, also you can use a, I mean, breadcrumb also, and vermicelli. All right. This is just press a little bit. Okay. You can put some more, if you think. Just press it gentle, like this. Okay. This is the second one. All right, here. Okay, this is it, this third one. Just press, same. This is very simple, you know. The corn flakes is available at your home, so just take 40 cheese. You can see now, it's almost ready now. It's time to fry. Alright. Okay, now we are ready. Let's, let's check the oil. It's hot enough. Okay, it's ready now. So, the oil should not be too much hot. Okay, you can see. Let me check. I think it's, uh, it's enough. I'll just try with this. I think it's enough now. Okay, this oil is enough. It should not be too much hot. Okay, 
just let it fry. Alright. See? You can't. It will take only like one to two minutes because you know, paneer is the processed one and spinach we have already sauteed one. So no need to fry it, you know, like uh, well done, but just fry it for one or two minutes. Just let the uh, golden color come and it should be crispy. If, if you feel it a little bit hard, then you can take out also, right? Okay, it's almost done now. done now you can see it now see the color see golden golden one it's simple it's very easy okay just put in table to observe some oil see now the most important thing most important thing, the plating and eye appeal should be very important. So, I'll show you the presentation, how to present. If suppose like if I uh, place like this, it, if suppose, I'm just giving you an example, if I place like this, I mean it doesn't look nice, like if the menu itself uh, shows that, you know, stuff spinach. You know, we have to show this, right? Okay, let's do our plating, alright? Okay, see? I'll take a, I have a bamboo leaf, I have a bamboo leaf, okay, just cut slanting, so you can see it, right, okay, like this, place it like this, I'm using a chopper because I'm used to with this chopper. You can use a knife. See, you can hear the sound of crispy. This is it. Okay. Now, I'll show you. Now I'm making this one. Mango. I'm making a, uh, I'm making a salsa for this, for topping. Here I have some ingredients for the salsa. I have some mango, chopped mango, all right? And onion, I'll use an onion, and tomato chop, tomato chop, and coriander chop, all right? Coriander chop and green chili. I add a green chili because you know it gives you a sweet, sour, and tangy flavor, which goes very well with this. Right? I add a tomato sauce and yes, amul cream. Just a little bit. Okay, just mix it. You can also use a uh, mint chutney and the coriander chutney also. All right. And I'll just squeeze a little bit of uh, lemon, which gives you a very good flavor. All right. So, you know, I'll just put on top. This is it, very simple. You must try at home. See, this is ready now. Cottage cheese stuff. 
the spinach. This is ready. Up. Okay. Yes. If you have any question, please do let me know. I'm going to start with the other one. I'm going to start with the healthy salad. Please do let me know if you have any question. See, you can see the color combination also. White plate, I place a, a green a bamboo leaf a top with, the, you can see the white, again this cottage cheese and your spinach, you can see the green inside and top with the mango just gives you a very good color and you can see, please try at home. Okay, let's start with the, uh, let's, let's start with this mango, mango salad. I have a raw mango over here. I'll show you how to cut the raw mango. All right. This is also the very simple and very healthy. Right. Okay. Let's let's cut the mango. So raw mango is basically very good for a summer, you know. If you uh, try to make a juice with this, uh, by adding a little bit of water and blend it in a mixer, you can have it in summer. It gives you a uh, boost your energy and it really helps for the pregnant woman to, I mean, uh, the most of the women, you know, during the pregnant time, they feel, uh, uh, they feel, you know, the uh, uh, laziness, right? So. They can try this, but I'm uh, I'm doing my own way, my style of making the mango, a uh, raw mango salad, right? Okay. Just slice the mango. Just slice the mango like this. It's very good for the stomach. As you know very well that the mango contains a vitamin C, right? So it's very good for the summer. You can try it at home, which is available these days. All right. So I'll tell you the one technique of the cut, how to cut the slanting. I'm sure you might be knowing very well, but you can try this. Just keep it like this, okay? And just shred it like this. All right. Okay. So again, the shredded of a tomato, and I'm using a onion to rinse this. Basil, and a little bit of uh, basil and cherry tomato again. Cherry tomato. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil. Just check it out. See, olive oil. And again. lemon and a little bit of uh, salt for the seasoning okay mix it properly you can add a little bit of just give you a amul tree also
as you can see, just mix it. Okay, this is ready now. For the garnish on top, we have some mango dice. Okay, this is it, and a little bit of pudding on top. Okay, this is it. The boats are ready now. Okay. Just both the both the dish are ready now. If you have uh, any question, please. Thank you so much for uh, joining with me, and uh, especially thanks to uh, my favorite uh, uh, sweet Jaika vegetarian group, uh, Gitishu, and also uh, 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 sweet Jaika. Uh, uh, Katriji, okay. Uh, all the members, thank you so much. Everyone, thank you so much for joining uh, with me today, live with Amul Cooking. Uh, once again, I would like to say thank you so much for Amul to connecting people. All right, and uh, I'm looking forward to come up with uh, some new Oriental base uh, uh, by using the Amul product. Okay, so please try at home and please stay home and stay safe. Thank you so much. I'm signing.